Hello, since creating the last part of the series, uh, PM Sense created a major update. So before explaining how to install OpenVPN server, I'm going to explain how to update to the last version. It's a very simple process, we can do it fully through the web interface. We just ensure to create a full backup prior to the upgrade and then we invoke the auto upgrade. That's now pulling like 200 megabytes and it's going to take a few minutes for it to install an upgrade. I'm going to speed that up and see you after that. As you can see, uh, the interface has changed quite a bit from the design parts. And once we log in, you can see that there is another update available. So let's also install that one. This will update mostly the packages, I believe. So now that the installation has finished, we simply log in. And now we can see that we are on the latest version in a second. And now we can continue with the installation of OpenVPN. For that we first go to the certificate manager and we are going to create a server certificate. And in order to do that, we need to create a CA, a Certificate Authority. So let's create an internal Certificate Authority. And then we can create a new certificate. And the only thing that's really important here is to create a server certificate. And I'm going to call it OpenVPN server. And I'm going to click save. Oh, I need to specify a descriptive name. OpenVPN server certificate. Okay, so now we have created uh, the needed certificate for the server. So now we go to the OpenVPN tab and start creating a OpenVPN server, but we are going to use the wizard. And we specify local user access, so we can create users here in the user manager and create a client certificate for them and then they can use it and connect to the OpenVPN. Let's select the home CA, go to the OpenVPN server certificate and now we uh, enter the options for the server. 
we are going to bind it to the uh, to the WAN interface. We are going to use UDP, and then we leave the rest pretty much to default. Um, for the tunnel network, which is going to be the network that is used between the OpenVPN client and server, we are going to specify 10.0.8.0. And we are going to force all the traffic to be routed through the VPN. And our internal network is 192.168.100. And we are going to enter that here. So all the VPN clients have access to reach all the IPs inside that network. And we're going to allow five connections at a time. Then I will specify um, DNS servers, and those settings are being uh, those settings are being pushed to the client when he connects to the OpenVPN. And that's pretty much it. So let's click next. And on the last page, we are being asked if you want to add uh, firewall rules. The first one is to allow uh, any any computer to connect to the OpenVPN port on the WAN interface. And the second one is to allow traffic inside the VPN tunnel. And we can take a look at um, our firewall rules. And you can see here, that's the rule for uh, access to the OpenVPN. And then there is another rule to allow traffic inside the OpenVPN tunnel. So now we want to download the configuration. And we are going to do that by going first to System User Manager. And we are going to create a user. And the username is Lurken and the password let me in. And we check this box to create a user certificate. And I'm going to call it Lugan OpenVPN cert. Same certificate authority. And I'm going to click save. Oh, I forgot to enter the passwords. Or I mistyped them. Okay, so now we go to the packet manager and we install um, a packet from the available packets and it's the export utility. So we can export the config of, um, of the OpenVPN. And now we can go back to the OpenVPN. And you can see a new uh, tab appeared, client export. And if we scroll down, we can download um, the certificates down here. But I'm going to change one more thing. I'm going to do not verify the server CN. Okay, so now I'm just going to download the archive. And as you can see, I've already downloaded it, but let's just overwrite it. Copy, downloads, PF sense, and unpack it. And let's take a look at the configuration file. And you can see the cipher that's being used. You can see that I'm going to connect to the one port. So right now I'm on the same network with the IP address 179. And the PFSense has the IP address dot 12. So now I'm going to attempt a connect.
And I'm just going to enter the username Löken and the password let me in. And you can see I successfully connected. And we can also test it by simply running a trace route towards Google's DNS server. And you can see that the first port is 1008 .1. And I should also be able to ping the network 192.168.100 as we specified. So um, those are some very simple steps to setting up OpenVPN. Of course, you can go back to VPN and go to server and click on the server edit. And of course, you can specify different, uh, different ciphers and um, play around with the settings here. If there are any questions, just uh, leave me a comment and I'll try to get back to it. See ya.